All right, this video is an excerpt from my course, 10 Minute Mastering. It's on A-B testing, listening to your songs compared to real professional songs. If you want your mastering cheat sheet, go click below, there's a link. And this we're gonna compare a master that I did just without A-Bing to comparing it to a commercial song, Karma Police by Radiohead, and see how we can use some of the tools in Ozone 9 to bring this song more in line with Karma Police. I think the results are pretty good. Um, probably should have baked this into the process a little sooner, although I mixed with A being, while A being, I don't think I ultimately spent as much time doing that as I should have, so I'm having to make some pretty big moves in mastering that I wouldn't normally do. So anyway, go check out that mastering cheat sheet. And also if you wanna pick up Ozone 9, there's a link down below. It'll help the channel, it'll help you. It's really a powerful piece of software. It'll make your mixing and mastering everything better. Thanks so much. In the mastering stage, but it's absolutely something you should be doing in the mastering stage. Um, and so I wanna teach you how to do that. I recommend doing this both while mixing and mastering. It'll help you out a lot. The first way I'm going to show you to do it is just manually, and then we'll do it sort of semi-manually, and then we'll do it automatically, but I don't think automatically is the way to go, usually. So here we've got the two versions of our master. Um, And now let's listen to it compared to Karma Police by Radiohead. So to me, Karma Police sounds brighter. It's definitely way louder and maybe a little fuller on the low end. Now, that's one way of doing this. You just go back and forth and tweak your individual things, trying to make it line up. And that's totally cool. I would also say that two big things you're gonna run into is just that commercial music tends to be mastered way louder, especially stuff from the 2000s and late 90s. That was the era of the loudness wars, and it's generally considered not to be best practice to make it that loud. Even the louder sounds better, you lose something. Additionally, they're not they're mastering with like almost no headroom, whereas we want to master to negative one, uh, as we talk about in another lesson because there's a good chance that your song is going to be converted to another version and you'll have no control over that conversion and then also the issue of audio marks. So now let's talk about a better way of doing A-B testing. So we'll go here. This is like playing the song back without anything. Now we've got Ozone on. And so, in Ozone, what you can do is you can load in a song by hitting like the plus, you click on the reference button, and then you click on the plus, and it'll load in a song, and it actually finds all the parts. So we've got the outro of Karma Police here, and you also have a gain knob. So now we go. And it seems like it's even So like maybe five dB, we could look at the meters to actually see, but it sounds like it's about four and a half, five dBs louder than my song. And you've actually got the EQ curve comparison. I'm missing a lot on the high end and some of the low end. And so, this is probably the better part. But other things to keep in mind is that there's vocals on the Radiohead song, so you've got to kind of play around that. You, so what What would I do with this information? Well, I take this EQ and I probably boost it here, maybe half a dB, and move this low shelf back a little bit. And now let's see if we go.
And to me, that already sounds better. I don't want to match it in volume, but maybe I do want to add a little bit more, um, considering that we're... Just to where it's kicking in, and now let's go here. Partly also some of the differences in the curve are going to be based just on the key of the song, but you can see how this really can help you get a more accurate sound built in. Finally, well actually also on this, if you were to use this tonal balance thing instead, let's play our song with the tonal balance on. We're right in there, but we could also Actually, um, I believe we can import your own reference. Um, yeah, so we could use Karma Police specifically as the profile. And see, we're just on the ultra high, a little boost. So we can go back here. Oop, no, not. So one thing to keep in mind as well is that when you're doing, at least if you're doing music for licensing, which not all of you are going to be, you don't want it overly bright because that will compete with the vocals. But what we should probably do here for this type of brightness, it's common to use a vintage EQ. I could either use the one that comes with Logic or there's a vintage EQ here in um, Ozone, which is a little kinder with the high boost. So we'll do 16K and we'll just do like a 4 dB boost, which is crazy. And let's try cutting that. brings us in the ballpark, but doesn't make it sound better. Let's listen. We may 
maybe. I'm not sold. There's also a bump right around here, but that could just be the vocals. Somewhere at 1.5. That definitely helps. Pretty much within it. Doesn't sound better though. Let's listen. Like I've said previously, you're going to want to listen on a bunch of different speakers. So I'm going to check out on the headphones and see what I think. On the headphones, it sounds drastically better. Um, so. Then I'd want to check this out listening in my car, things like that. Finally, though, there's an automatic way to do it in Ozone 9. <laughs> I don't think this is going to give us good results. It hasn't tended to give me good results, but let's see. Especially it's hard because this is a vocal song. or a song, Well, all songs have vocals, but um, comparing an instrumental to a vocal is going to give you a very different EQ curve. So we've already got the reference loaded in. And now if we go to Master Assistant and we choose the reference as Karma Police and the destination CD, probably vintage more than modern. We're waiting. Oh, I gotta play my audio. That's on me. Low cut, high boost. Yeah, we knew we needed that. No high cut. Doesn't seem to be doing just a little low end cut on the vintage EQ. No vintage comp here. Running a vintage comp there. And this is gonna be much louder than our version. Yeah, I think 
think ours is just tighter and a little rounder and warmer. So I hope you found this useful. Hope you start A being both your mixes and your masters, and I hope you can see how awesome Ozone 9 can be to help you with that. Thanks for watching. One thing I want to note is although I'm using this to master right now, if you're in the mixing stage, you could still load in Ozone and Tonal Balance, or really just Tonal Balance, the plugin you'll see me use later on, which comes with Ozone 9 one of the versions at least, maybe a couple, and you could use that while mixing to make sure that your mix is already hitting a lot of the EQ curves, and then from there, drive it home while mastering. Thanks so much.